I believe one thing, when it's meant to be, it's meant to be. American for France, coming right away, American. American is coming away, American Trevian. When you have 120,000 people at the crowd and for a week before everybody on the road, everywhere talk about this, it's the only way worldwide stop the country. This, when you start to feel that, it's already prepare you, then it's going to be something special. Here's the French caliper going up for Gerard Mosse. American is ready. Racing the 150th time, the cup's underway. Illustrious Blue a bit slow. So you think bounced out well. So did Desperado. Savit jumped away well. Once for Wild on the improved towards the leaders. American just off them, followed by Harry. So perfect scenario happened. I was in the race, traveling a bit cover, midfield. My horse traveling nice and relaxed, a bit wide, but he doesn't like to be in. American the outside, and then Red Ruler Vucciolati, followed by Campanologist Managar, next outside Profound Beauty. When is it meant to be, I tell you, when it has to be done, it's going to be done, no matter what you do. And then everything's come very tight in the straight, Frankie on my outside, having a little bit uh, no more horse. As they swing around the turn, next is Mr. Medici. Back behind those horses, then is shoot out ends of eight. They're on the swing. Back. I was just traveling inside him, and I can't say too much, but definitely we communicate a bit in the race. He doesn't, I don't ask him to do everything favor, but he can feel. Then gradually I get a little bit late on gap to come outside. Timing was unreal. In the clock, at the right time, any win by two and a half lengths. American race pass, so you think, and then the lucky day. American for France, coming right away, American. American is coming away. American, Trevian, scored by two lengths for lucky day. So On that day, you, 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 you pass from jockey, even high-class jockey, to superstar. It's unreal. And when I was hitting the front after the clock and it was only 150 meters to go, it's clear, I'm done. I don't know why, if you ask me, you, you do things sometimes you don't even expect to do. And I kiss the public because there was so much screaming. You can't even hear the race or anything because it's so much people and Australian people, they like to enjoy, like English people, they drink and they celebrate even before to win the winning post. With American taking out the 150th Melbourne Cup. America had a six-year-old bay or brown horse by Dinah Former from America. And then you really start to, well, I've been always all my life, feet on the ground, but because more mature than when I win the arc, you start to realize how big it is. And, uh, it was a special day. I was supposed to fly back on the night to back to Hong Kong to race the following day. I called the stewards and I said, I'm so sorry, because they are, English, they are Australian. So they know what it is, how big it is. And they said, I'm sorry, I can't take the flight to go home. And they said, well, for this time only, we we allowed to stay in Australia. So I stay with the owner, he make a big party and uh, I'm not a party man, I don't drink, I don't go crazy, but it was lovely food that every jockey enjoy. Good crowd and uh, they was feeling the, the three cup of trainers, owners and jockey of champagne and they was drinking. And you feel like, wow, it's something, even so, here later, and then I was back to France to ride in the summer in the countryside. I was really not expect Australian people come from, they was in holiday in France. They come to say, oh, we're Australian. We know you win the World Cup last year. Can you give us an autograph? We, we live 50 or 100 kilometers away, but we will be so happy if you can sign something because you was a rider of the Melbourne Cup. That's very touchy. Thank you.